Space Mammals. This is Simmons Barthar. Here, the Space Beam. Like Fast Rainbow Season 2, play this before the internet is This is for me. So let's get this. Continue, Stuart. Oh, cool. Continue. Oh, can we create? This for save. Hi, Jesse! There's more Jesse's now. Why is there more Jesse's now? I don't know where these Jesse's are. Here. Oh, there's no one. Regular boring Jesse here. Let's do this. <laughs> Okay, let's start this. Let's start! Do you want my decision to cause me trouble or not? This game series of that's your choices to make. So it's always here by how you play. And this way, what I did last game! I always like stories where the hero has no idea that they're destined for greatness. The sort of heroes who are living their lives and assume that nothing exciting will ever happen to them. Those are the kind of heroes in this story. They started as just a bunch of friends in a treehouse, oh, no. looking up to their idols who had come before them. But when disaster struck and an evil monstrosity threatened to destroy the world, those friends discovered that heroes can come from the most humble of beginnings. They traveled the world to battle that monster, facing obstacles and sacrifices every step of the way. It wasn't easy, but they had each other. And working together, they struck it down and saved everyone. Soon, they were the most famous people in the whole world. And their legend, their fame just continued to grow as they explored more worlds, venturing into the great unknown. And that's how those five friends, plus the bravest pig in the world, took their place in history as some of the greatest heroes who ever lived. <laughs> oh, uh huh. What part are we at? Am I being awesome? We thought it was great, Lucas. I think your voice changed. Not always technically accurate. Yeah. I mean, well, I definitely exaggerated here and there, but it was for the drama. I mean, it made us sound cool, and that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, but it might make people think we did stuff we didn't actually do. It's all fair thing. game if it's helping you to tell a good story. It's not like you're lying to, like, trick anyone. Yeah. See, that's exactly what I thought. If you're planning on including schematics, we should talk, though. I think I'm okay. I <laughs> have been oh hoping to have it ready to read at Founding Day, but, uh, next year. I can't believe it's Founding Day already. It sneaks up on me every time. Congrats, buddy. I'm proud of you for finishing it. That took a lot of work. I'm glad you liked it. You did so much, Jesse. You're a real hero. But we all did, right? Yeah, we were all there. For uh, most of it, anyway. Hey, <laughs> come on, guys. We all did it together. We're the Order of the Stone, after all. That's a it is a good note, though. I'll keep that in mind when I'm editing. Well, this has all been really helpful feedback, guys. Once Ivor and Harper get back from their adventures, I can add a chapter about them, and then it will finally be done. Man, they've been gone a long time. Jesse, your intern. Hi, Angel! Jesse? Oh, hey, Radar. Oh, gosh, wow. I didn't know all of you would be in here. <laughs> Olivia, ma'am, Axel, sir, you, Lucas, sir. So sorry to interrupt everyone. Oh, he is just adorable. My deepest, sincerest, utmost apologies if I've caused any inconvenience. Radar, don't be so formal. Cut it out with all the sir and ma'am stuff. Right, oh, right. Awesome. I kind of <laughs> like this. <laughs> So, what's up? I got a message from Petra that she's on her way to the mines. For that adventure you scheduled, if you hurry, you should still have time for that and your founding day duties. Oh, nice. We should get going. Come on, 
Adventure! Yeah. Uh, about that. We've actually got our own Founding Day stuff we need to prep for? Yeah, I need to get back to Boomtown. I'm judging a TNT rally in the morning. Oh, that's okay. I get it. You have your life, and so do I. Ah, <sighs> thanks, Jesse. Yeah, thanks. Petra will never let you hear the end of it, though. Tell Petra I said next time for sure, okay? Oh, I can't wait to see how that sword of hers is got like... along. Yeah, I'll tell her. I can't believe I'm walking out of the Order Hall with the Order. <laughs> oh, so freaking cute. It's like, oh. <laughs> Hi, Cal. Why is it so strange looking? Just so join here. the other towns have Founding Day celebrations, huh? Of course. We were all part of taking down the Witherstorm. Redstonia even hosts the whole dance in Eligard's honor. Yeah, it's mostly TNT and fireworks in Boomtown. Magnus let me help design the firework finale this year. Well, <laughs> I promise I will try and stop by. It was awesome to catch up with you guys. Totally. Yeah, this has been great. Uh, won't be the same without you guys. Ah, buddy. You're gonna make me sad. <laughs> oh my god. Thanks again, guys. I'll let you know as soon as I'm done with the revisions. Oh, cool. Can't wait. Axel. Why other I tell you, I am just the luckiest. Yeah? Oh yeah. Getting to work with you, hanging out with the order, and living in the coolest town in the whole world. Beacon Town! There's a giant slide above it! I can't slide! Hi, Parrot! that some days you'd rather be out adventuring with your friends, but I'm really glad you're our leader. You just make this place awesome. I really do love this place, and it just keeps getting cooler. Right? I love it, too. It's exactly the kind of home I'd always dreamt of having. I know that Petra is waiting for you in the mines, but I bet people would really appreciate you helping set up for the celebration. I'll keep that in mind. Well, we can move around now. That's good. Hi, people. My people. Oh, we can look at stuff. We can look at stuff as we walk around it. The rainbow beacon. It's powered by the nether star the witherstorm dropped. Oh, I know! Even before I moved to Beacon Town, I came on a trip to see the beacon. I love this thing. Grew up being fanboy. Nope, I can't jump down. Way too well to be right over here. Hi, people. Oh, we can look at the ticky head. I bet one of those would look awesome on the Order Hall's front lawn. Mm hmm. Huh. <laughs> well? We can look at the primal bed. I thought no, his love is under control now. Hope Ivor and Harper are having fun out there in the portal network. Can't wait to hear about it when they get back. Well, this is not killing anybody, but I'm afraid that Ethan's gonna go in there and I'll get burned. We're just looking at things. That's good. We run faster. Okay, there's nothing there. I'm just gonna look around. Jesse, dude! Nell, I thought you were out seeing the worlds. 
did that righteous times. Thought I'd try settling down for a while, though. Like, I love danger and daring do as much as the next person. Well, I'm so glad you're here. Man, that is just the sort of warm welcome I had hoped. You rock, Jesse, dude. <laughs> Between you and me, I am worried that I won't, like, fit in here. So many rad builds, awesome people. I really want to make, like, a good first impression, you know? Uh -oh. Which I thought might be helped if my front yard had a statue by the one and only Jesse. Not sure if I have time, but I'll see what I can do. Hey, hey, hey! This is going to be so cool! Scoop up that clay over there and let's get to business! Oh, we got make something now, huh? We make something! Uh, oh, powerful! Blank canvas. Oh, no. Oh, no! Oh. <sighs> what the hell we face? Oh, this works for me. What? Oh, what the? Who was that? I want you. Let me get a happy face. Not top of the dragon, you Uh catch. Oh we can attach the okay. No here. <laughs> oh my god, we can make things. Oh, I did not want it. Yeah. Oh. I'm just making a happy face. And she's a happy lady, we're going to give her a happy face. It'll take a while, isn't it? No. Stuff, am I? Oh, well. She's just dancing there. She has green eyes. Let's, see. Let's make you give her your this happy face of green eye. Oh, right now, stuff first, aren't we? That is some sweet work. Nice. Good. Oh, Jesse, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> thanks. It was my pleasure. Well, it is an oh, honor, my. amigo, and don't be a stranger, okay? 
Well, she is a fascinating woman, isn't she? Very free-spirited. <laughs> yeah, kind of reminds me of Petra back in her early days. Speaking of whom, you said she's waiting for me at the... Mineshaft. Mm-hmm. Okay, this continues this craziness. Hi, happy face. I have no idea why. Here we go again. Not to pat myself on the back too hard, but there is a statue. Happy face, I don't even want to make anything complex. Oh, okay, yeah, look at the octopus. You craving seafood? Always. Why? Okay, we're going to move on now. Whoa! <gasps> Wink, get back here. Leave Jesse alone. Hello there, Jesse. I was wondering when we'd run into each other. Thought we'd give this town of yours a try. Uh -oh. It's quite lovely. Yeah, and I can't believe how many people are here. What are you guys doing here, though? Um, the thrill of adventure, I guess. And the stories of this place sounded awesome. Radar, this is Stacy Plays and Stampy Cat. Oh, Wink. Here, Jesse, give him a bone and he'll calm right down. Okay. Here, Wink. Nice tasty bone. <laughs> Aw, see? He likes you. Ha, <laughs> yeah. You want the rest of these back? Nah, hang on to them. I've got tons. You never know when you're going to need to tame a wolf. Well, thanks. I uh, imagine you're terribly busy, so we won't keep you. But you should come and see what we're working on, because it's pretty cool. Yeah, what Stampy said. Anyway, our place is by the gate. Will do. See you guys later. Okay. We never have bones! Oh my... I wanna look at this! I still wanna look at this don't do that camera! No, I got you! No, I got you! Oh, uh, those were the days. Simpler times. I'm at a super happy space. I'm weird. I'm hurts. <laughs> okay. Some talk to a citizen. Who talked to a citizen? <laughs> so, how are you there? Oh, how are you doing? Wow, it is really you. My friend you? told me this was a recreation of your first big build, way back before the Wither Storm, before all that stuff. Is it true? You have got to tell me more about it. I can barely even picture it. I have devoured everything Lucas has written about you guys in those days. <laughs> all right. I love talking about the good old days. Yes. I'm just so curious. Where does your inspiration come from? Was there a deeper meaning? Oh, or like a critique of the world, maybe? I draw my inspiration from my friends. We were a team. It was a group effort. Oh, classic Jesse. I love that. Because <laughs> I really <laughs> wish I got to see what you built to take down the Wither Storm. Now that must have been terrifying. The world coming apart at the seams. Tentacles everywhere. Well, it's like I said about drawing inspiration from my friends. We all gave each other strength during that fight. Amazing. I hope I have friends like that someday. Oh, you are just the best. Oh, and thank you so much for taking the time to stop and talk to me. Oh, not a problem. I'll see you around, all right? We're still next morning. Oh, Ruben. He's a whole Best pig that ever lived. I miss you, buddy. Oh, man. I wish I could have met Reuben. He sounded amazing. I read Lucas's book the other day. That chapter about Reuben almost got me crying right there. Yeah, he was my best friend. Still miss him. Aww. Oh, my gosh, it's you. Oh, yep, it's me. What are, what are you doing here? Oh, wow, this is actually perfect. For founding day this year, we're picking a pig to play the part of Reuben on the float. Oh, that's really cute. Right? Uh, would you be interested in maybe helping me pick? I mean, who knows Reuben better than Jesse, right? I would love to. It seems like the least I could do. Oh, that's fantastic. Thank you so much. All right, let's see him. I'm not done okay, this please. Show Jesse your good side. <laughs> That's Esteban. 
Smushy Q Cheeks, and Lord Von Thunderpork the Sixth. <laughs> Tried my best to bring the pigs that felt the most Reuben esque. Hmm? They're all adorable. My vote is for Lord Von Thunderpork the Sixth. No question. I mean, look at that regal little guy. Really? <laughs> that's a great you, that's who you choose. Fantastic. Congratulations. <clears throat> Thank you, Jesse. I'm going to get him ready, and I'll see you at the celebration. Oh, my God, Hi. I don't want to go Oh, no, that screen won't let me go back. This is the others. No! That was weird. Burger King. Makes me happy to see so many plants growing in Beacon Town. Yeah, it's pretty great, huh? Sugar, nice. It better not be a bait complaining about me taking the sugar. Oh, what do you want to talk to? Jesse! Oh, hey, hey, look who it is! Jesse, hey! Hey guys, what are you doing? Glad you asked. We're working on a new game for Founding Day that I guarantee you is gonna be all the rage this year. Slime diving. Oh. Wanna give us a hand finishing it up? I'll let you take the first dive. Bob designed the schematics, didn't you, Bob? That sounds awesome. Let's do it. That's a distraction. That's the problem. Thoughts? I'm just conflicted because I like all of them. Oh, we know you do, Bob, but don't worry. Jesse's gonna help us settle this. Watch it for Stone is safer. Why don't we run with that? Hey, oh my God! Nice, that turned out great. And just like I promised, you can take the first dive. Just aim for the slime. It'll be great. Go, Jesse! Woohoo! No twist. <laughs> Woo! Ta-da! Thanks, everyone. Jesse, that was incredible. Seriously, amazing dive. Thank you for that. Thank you for the help before. No problem. Look, my friend's waiting, so I gotta run. But nice work. Hi! What you looking at, citizen? Oh, Jesse! Wow! Hi! And just checking out my latest build from the ground. I'm worried it doesn't, you know, fit. Is it putting the right energy into the universe? Is it the appropriate aesthetic addition to the tableau that is Beacon Town? How'd you even get up there? That's, like, really high. Oh, getting up wasn't the hard part. Getting down was. <laughs> <laughs> but you are! Uh, okay then, we'll just leave you to it. Is he okay? No, I don't think so. <laughs> I think there's only one crazy guy in the town. I actually left. No, he's the crazy guy. Oh. Let's try to take it back. I am like... telling you, Stampy. It needs to be pumpkin pie. But cake is the best, and I would know. I have it every morning for breakfast. There's some sort of problem here, guys? Hello, Jesse. We heard about this founding day celebration of yours, and we thought we'd make some sweets. Yeah, and now I'm trying to convince Mr. Stampy here to make the right decision and pick pumpkin pie. There you go with those leading presentations again. Just, not everyone likes cake, Stampy. Why don't we have both? Oh, that's a wonderful idea, but we don't have enough ingredients. Uh... It's true. Here, you should just take the ingredients and decide for us. Yes, I fear we're going to be debating in circles all day otherwise. <laughs> you know, there might be some extra eggs and stuff around town. I bet you could find enough to do cake and pie. Uh, I don't have a ton of time, but I bet they'd be super surprised by that. Oh, way too helpful. Way too helpful. <laughs> 
hay and egg. Maybe that'll help me settle Stampy and Stacy's little disagreement. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Thank you. Huh. What a lovely garden. <laughs> said cake, she said pie, and then I said, why don't we just have both? <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> this is very surprising. Yeah, that's awesome. How did you do that? Eh, found some extra ingredients around town. No big deal. Well, that's fantastic, Jesse. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks. This is perfect. They can fly. Look, I gotta run. Petra's waiting. I'll talk to you guys later, okay? Bye. I'm crazy. Okay, oh, yeah, here. Uh oh, who's gonna be mad at me now? You were just waiting there, being bored. They still stare at the sky. I forgot he felt that. Okay. Let's get back to the main story, but first I'm going to say bye for now, Sheila. Mamas and all the cheers. Bye! <laughs> 